Hi, Ken back again uh, from Ken's place and uh, I was working to test to see how fast the motor was running and whether it was running at consistent speed. So what I did was I took this tack meter from a bicycle which gives me basic miles per hour. Uh, it doesn't give me, it's a it's an old one, so it doesn't give me RPM or anything like that. But it gives me what I need to see what the machine is putting out. Now, if you notice, I the hand wheel here is here. Okay, so I use my own hand wheel, so it doesn't damage the customer's machine. And I take the bobbin case out, and this is the 1229, so... I left the door open so that the light, the LED lights won't come on and start flashing and all that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> now what I want to do is, if you could see the tack meter down here, if I start the machine, the tack meter will start reading. Okay. And it'll go up faster and faster. Now I have the machine set on medium speed because I want to see how consistent it is whether it's going up and down because that's what the problem was with this machine it would go up or down and start losing power according to the customer um, but the thing is is whenever you have a foot pedal you're pressing down on the foot pedal your foot gets tired in a little bit you know and you're going to raise the foot pedal up a little bit you're just not going to keep it at a consistent speed like if, if you put a clamp on it. So what we're going to do is put a clamp on it. This is the foot pedal. Now I have the clamp on it. So now you can see, if I zoom in here, you can see that the tack meter is reading like 41, 42. It's jumping back and forth. But it's reading pretty consistent for just being, you know, just rigged up real quick on this machine. And that's what I want to look for. I want to look for a consistency. I don't care whether it's, a, it's the exact speed of the machine or anything like that. I'm looking just for basic consistency okay now if we move back out you can see that this wheel here okay that's just a coffee lid it's a plastic coffee lid and it has magnet on it and this is a coil that is getting current it's basically a little generator type of thing that you have like for a bicycle and stuff like that uh, you think think of it that way. So it's generating a current and the more the, the more current that it generates The faster that this is going to read Okay, so if it's running at a consistent speed it's creating a consistent current Okay Now bicycle tacks are not all They're 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 not calibrated greatly and stuff. So take that into consideration the machine should put out relatively the same amount in it, but it's going to fluctuate, you know, between half a mile an hour, an hour, a mile an hour, you know, to maybe two or maybe 0.75 mile an hour. So you got a plus or minus maybe 50 or, you know, or say half a mile an hour. So anything, if it, if it goes up to like, 45 miles an hour I know something changed if it goes below and goes to like 39 or something or 38 miles an hour then I know something's going on with the machine so but right now it is running pretty consistent as you can see it's pretty consistent at 41.5 miles an hour and Basically, I'll leave this machine run for an hour or two to make sure that it's going 
at the same speed and then I know that the machine is running and if there's a, a real a drastic change in the speed and stuff it's probably the person's foot getting tired and lifting off the pedal okay so <clears throat> this machine had problems on the circuit board uh, it has two circuit boards in here and basically uh, the customer said that they would work they would work it for so many hours one day they go back to it the next day and the machine wouldn't work or the machine would go really really slow when they had it set to high speed so that's what we're trying to duplicate if the machine actually does that at the same foot pedal speed so that's why we use the clamp we know the clamp is going to hold it steady at the same speed and if the machine doesn't change I know that the problems with the circuit board have been solved on it so which I did find I found some uh, cold solder joints and stuff on the circuit board so I just repaired the circuit board that's in there so it's just a a test of testing the machine a machine and how fast it's going to go you know I mean if I wanted to I can I can make it go faster but like I said this is a coffee lid the magnet is, is basically glued on so I don't want it to go up to full speed because it'll just fling it off somewhere and I'll get hurt or something will happen so I don't want to do that so keep it at the medium speed and it'll work fine so anyway that's just a test a little tip on how to test the machine a little bicycle tachometer thing that you get down at the, the bike shop and uh, basically a setup the same way that a bicycle wheel would be set up. So, okay, well, thank you for watching the video. Have a good week. Bye-bye.